Word of God, Psalm 139,13 You made all the delicate, inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. God made us with various characters, various gifts, and various demeanors. Some of the time we're battling what our identity is by attempting to be like another person. You need to acknowledge who God made you to be. Without a doubt, there are regions you can work on in, yet there are sure things that are just what our identity is. At the point when we contrast and think we have to be like another person, we feel substandard, scammed, in a tough spot. I'm not as skilled, as solid, however unique as they seem to be. Here's the key, you've been frightfully and brilliantly made to satisfy your predetermination. On the off chance that you really wanted an alternate character, various gifts, various qualities, various looks, or changed guardians, it would have worked out. Stop looking at and run your race. Be sure with your gifts, and let your character sparkle. There's not someone else in this world like you. The adversary would adore you to carry on with life attempting to be an impersonation, duplicating another person whom you believe is more appealing, more skilled, more fruitful. No, be you. It's not possible for anyone to be you like you can be you, prayer, father. Thank you that I can quit wishing I had what others have on the grounds that you have provided me with the right everything of what I really want. Much thanks to you that I am completely prepared for the race you have intended for me. I announce that I will be me, comma, in Jesus' name, amen.